Good morning, everybody. It is October 29th, and it is currently freezing in Lubbock, Texas. Today, Jacob and I are going to head to Dallas, and then from there, we're gonna go to Mississippi and pick up a trailer. I figured I would vlog because this is gonna be like a pretty quick up and back trip, and we're gonna go see my bestie, Allie. So, Figured it'd be fun to record and kind of just remember this time. I'm actually headed to Plainview right now, which is about an hour from here, to pick up the dually. I've never driven the dually before, so we'll see what happens. I'm kind of nervous, but they believe in me. They're giving me full reins to drive it. I don't know why, but they are, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I had a slight pit stop. I had to go to Plainview to the Plainview office to pick up a cashier's check, but I am on the way to pick up the dually, so we will see how this goes. John already told me to not curb rash his wheels, and let me just say, I've been known to do that a time or two. How gloomy. Our poor truck. All right, they backed it in for me. So this shouldn't be too hard. That thing, we need that to go away. And then I can turn it on. Oof. There we go. All right, I've gotta let that warm up. Is it just me or is anyone else scared to like shut the door with the keys and the ignition while the car is running if it's an older vehicle because I just really don't want to get locked out. So the door is open. Keep the Turpin and Associates sticker. Get it. It's so cold. I'm so glad I brought my fuzzy jacket. <laughs> ah! A parking job. Doesn't get much better than that. We got snacks packed. Oh yeah. We're on the road. It's not 5.52, I know that. It's definitely like noon 30 or something. 1.48. 1.48. We were supposed to leave at like 12.31. That didn't happen. 12.31, exactly. It's all right. <laughs> okay, we are off for a second time because we forgot the Bluetooth adapter for the car and we were not about to drive like 14 plus hours without, you know, our music. 22 hours. 22 hours, never mind. That sucks. <laughs> All right. driving through the middle of the week so all that's on the road are basically like a few cars mainly semis and it's so gloomy out the weather is horrible it's a little bit slick it's cold so this is just really interesting but Google Maps updated and now you can like report speed traps like if you see a cop or road construction or if there's an accident or a slowdown so it's been fun getting to like report all this stuff so this is our Google Maps you click that little button right here the bottom one 
then it pops up and you can report whatever you see on the road. So everybody download it and make the world a safer place. That looks so cool. I think I'm just retarded. <laughs> I do. Jacob never said that. I never said it. Hi. <laughs> Look at how cute Allie's house is. on the side for the trash. I really think we need to do something like that in Lubbock because the trash is horrible. Any open field, there's like, it's just trashed. It's disgusting. We're in Arkansas now. I definitely forgot to show you all that, but we've gone from Texas to Arkansas and then we will go to Tennessee. Yep. Tennessee, yep. then Mississippi. Because where we're going is like right on the border of Tennessee and Mississippi, right? Yeah. We already called the dealership. So they said it would only take about 10 minutes to do the paperwork on the trailer and then we just gotta get it hooked up and we'll turn right back around and go back to Allie and Carson's. So it's gonna be a lot of driving. <music> We have arrived, but we have to let the EGTs cool down, <laughs> right? Yeah. That goodness. Me too. Okay, that food was 10 out of 10. The best tenders I think I've ever had. Stuff. Did you like it? Yes. So we're on our way to the dealership now and it's going to be about a 45 minute drive. We need to be right on the other side of this train. There we go. We made it to Bahalia. Mississippi. 
We're at the Gator Maid dealership. We're about to do the deal. Are you ready, Jacob? I'm excited. I'm lost, but I'm excited. We're lost. We're trying to figure out where to go. There we go. The two for one deal. Two for one? Yeah, look at that. Buy one, get Ooh, one. Ooh, that one. one. No, it's this one right here, this long one. What are you a? Um, are you a transportation? No. We just picked up the trailer. That was so quick. Now we're headed back to Dallas. Gonna turn around and drive all the way back. We got a wide load back there. 35 foot trailer. So supposedly it's supposed to ride really nice. So I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. She made us dinner <laughs> at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Silly dogs. <laughs> so it's a barn dominium, just like what we want. I don't think we're gonna have two stories though, but it's definitely gonna be something like this. I think it's so cute. Oh, it is cold. Oh my gosh. Here's the front of it. Carson and Allie's and we actually have to go to Brownfield to pick someone's truck up so we have to take a detour home we're leaving right he's backing up and we're stuck Carson's dad to the rescue. Oh man, that was easy. I have no idea. We made it. Good job, Jacob. Now that we are on the road, I feel like I can talk about yesterday because we didn't film very much at the end of the day we got in like two hours maybe even more of like traffic standstill traffic it was right around like five o'clock so rush hour in Arkansas and it was horrible the weather was awful it was raining it was cold 
there were a ton of crashes so like we were just focused on getting back to Allie's but we're back on the road we're gonna stop by like a quick car wash to get the mud off of the truck and then we will be on our way but we do have to make a quick detour to Brownwood because one of our insurance customers got stuck in Brownwood left their truck we're gonna go pick up his truck and bring it back to Lubbock and Plainview with us so that'll be interesting it's a dually right a dually with a welding rig is what we're picking up so it's gonna put us about an hour hour and a half further from home Okay, yeah, we're here to talk about this because that was freaking gnarly. We went to the car wash, right? Like I well, told you. Let all. me explain. <laughs> we went to the car wash. You know, you expect there to be a way out on the other side of the bays or something that you can drive through, or you know, you got a pretty decent sized trailer. You need a little bit of room, but there wasn't any. So I tried to maneuver the trailer around, and it just wasn't enough room for it. I mean, we're you know, the trailer's 35 foot, and then whatever the truck is, so we're long. But I. Uh, ended up getting back in a bay and having to back out and the nicest man came nicest out, man stopped traffic for us and we backed it out and everything ended up being okay but it was kind of a disaster there for a little bit oh yeah it was a disaster like i literally thought that I, I i don't know what i thought but jacob never scares me like that he can always do it and this time he was like i don't know if i can do this but we did it we backed out and we had to stop traffic on like one of the busiest streets here it was stressful, but we're out now. Sorry, Terrell. Woo! That was crazy. Yeah, it doesn't go very fast. All right, well, I'll figure it out. Never mind. I got it. I think that's good. and just came down the road to Taco Bell and I'm eating my sorrows away. 
time, but then I won't know exactly how much trouble. All right, so we made it to Brownwood. Brownwood, and we got the truck, obviously. We just got Taco Bell for dinner, and we're grabbing some fuel. Then we will be on our merry way to Plainview to drop off the truck, back home to Lubbock, and we will be done, finally. I'm ready to be home. Okay, so we made it to Lubbock, and Jacob's parents were actually here eating at Razoo's. So they're going to take the dually and yeah, the rig back to Plainview with them since they live there and then we don't have to go like two hours out of the way. So that was really nice. We're just going into Razoo's to get them and then we'll go home. Yay. She does that. No. She has the perfect Checking her out. And we're back in our rent car. We are back and Josh was there the whole time. He was just in the back seat. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's definitely a longer one than normal, but I feel like it's appropriate because it was such a long trip. It felt like in such a short amount of time, like we were literally in four states, four different states just yesterday and now we're back home so it, it was a crazy crazy time but it was so fun I'm really glad that we got to see Allie and Carson and I got to spend some quality time with Jacob I'm glad to be home though like I really am just glad to be back in Lubbock Texas so I hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna start posting more and more stuff like mainly vlogs and like travel stuff probably not as much fitness stuff i'm gonna keep that for instagram but i am gonna try and like vlog more and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more what do you think jacob uh, good trip good trip good trip overall good trip a lot of work hard freaking work hard work but it was good all right bye y'all